Okay, now we're going to move on to the Autodoc network here. But before that, I want to just address a few things. First of all, this output is bringing all of the objects, which are the sphere, this carpet thing, and the ground plane. We don't want that, okay? So we only want the vellum object out. So it's only the ball we need. I'm just going to get rid of that other objects. It's only the sphere we need, okay? So that's good. And I also want to address the soft body vellum. So if I go in there, it's just basically import geometry and some post process. But we are looking at the output of this dot net for our vellum constraints. So technically, we don't need this. Okay, so I'm going to get rid of that. And I'm going to move this over here and just uncheck the display flag. Let's go into the auto dot network. Press L H to lay it out. Also, I just realized it's too dense for now. So I'm going to go back into grain source and reduce this to 0.06 temporarily. At the end, we will do a, a better resolution export or render. Okay. But for now, I want to keep it at 0.06 for quicker sim outputs. All right. So if I go back into the DOP auto network, auto DOP network, we have a vellum source here. I'm just going to click Alt and hold and drag, create a new copy. And I'm going to call this sphere vellum, I guess. And then I'm going to bring in the geo and constraints from our sphere object. Geo and constraints. Okay, perfect. So <clears throat> it's there right now and let's play this the carpet is flying like as if it's some a lot in carpet okay I, I don't know all right let's look at the vellum solver here and I want to introduce velocity damping I want to change it to 0 0.01 and then sub steps increase it to 10 for better stability and then go in advanced tab go into grain collisions and I want to bring the repulsion weight to 0.1 and repulsion all the way down to 1 because it's too much. I want to change the attraction weight to 1. And this is the parameter I was talking about earlier. If you look at the parameter, it's called attraction weight. And I don't know if you remember in grain source, that's what we put in here. Okay, that's what that is. All right, let's uh, run this. And I believe it's this enable mass shock that is causing this carpet to fly. If you look at that, it says artificially scales the mass of particles according to their position with respect to gravity by making particles higher up lighter stacks of particles will cover it will converge faster and be more stable. In our case, uh, I think it actually thinks this is higher up or something. I'm not sure it just flies away. So let's check it out. There you go, it started flying. Okay, that's not very good. So I'm gonna disable mass shock and let me run it again. That's a lot better, but it's falling down through because there's no ground player or anything. So I'm gonna go back in a sphere dot network and I'm gonna copy this part. And I'm gonna bring it into our auto dot network here, okay? All right, so now it's got the ground plane. Everything is set up. That should just work. Okay, I just ran 24 frames and the sphere was supposed to pull the carpet up, but that is not happening as you can see here, okay? And that's because we need to add a vellum constraint here. Vellum constraint. And we want to change this to glue. And target group type to points and asterisk. So all of the points in here pulls it up. Okay, so that's technically what it is. And I want to change the max search distance also to 1.4 to search more, you know, I guess. 
that should be good enough and let me run this again and let's see if that works so let me just double check also create constraints that one you need to change it to each frame because if you, if you keep it on creation frame which is one it really didn't work for me okay so i'm going to change it to each frame maybe we can test that later but anyway for now i'll leave it at each frame and let's run this okay i've just done 25 frames now if i run this through you can see it's still not picking up the carpet okay for some reason now this is the bizarre thing i'm i'm not sure if uh, this is the right way of doing it but here it is I'm going to put in a multi solver and I'm going to hook up this vellum object here and hook that up here and hook this up here. So basically it's a multi solver that connects the vellum constraints, which then connects the multi uh, vellum solver and then the vellum object connects into here. Okay. Let's check if that works. Okay, I ran through around about 29 frames. Okay, let's see how that works. Look at this. Bam, it's pulling the carpet up. Yeah, so this multi-solver has solved the problem that we were facing. Now again, you know, I'm, I'm not entirely certain if this is the right way, but it works, okay? so. We're going to now move on to refining this because that that looks pretty rigid, you know. Um, so mm -hmm. we're going to refine this, okay? Mm 